Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a clean girl Christmas wish list. I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked to do this. So I had to provide and <laughs> film this video for you. I've included like bits that I already have that you need, that you need to put in a Christmas wish list, stuff that I love. And then I'm also gonna add in bits that I am putting on my Christmas wish list. So like some that I have, some that I really want. So yeah, hope you enjoy. I have like everything laid out in front of me and I'm just gonna go through in sections. So I'm gonna start off with like hair care, slick bun, hair extensions, that kind of thing. So in terms of shampoos and conditioners, I love Olaplex. I think it's so good. It's really helped my hair, especially if you have blonde hair, cause obviously bleach and things or like, you get your hair done and heat damage, anything. Like I think Olaplex is so good. I love it, rave about it, so good. Staying on the Olaplex thing as well. So I have the number three one. I think this is like the mini one that I have. Um, and you go in with this before you wash your hair and just leave it in for, I think it's like 10 minutes. Yeah, minimum of 10 minutes, longer if desired. And then you wash it out and leave your hair feeling so soft. Also, I know it's not a reason to buy something, but like how aesthetically pleasing and just like clean do these look? Obsessed. Then for like after hair washing, hair care, I have again Olaplex number six and then the oil. I put like, I think this is half a pump you put on. Yeah, half a pump into my hands and I like tap a bit of this in, rub it together, put it in my hair. And then I also use this leave-in conditioner from Coco and Eve. I also use this to do my slick buns, but I'll move on to that in a second. But this, so good, I put it in the ends of my hair. Love it. So talking of slick buns, the things that I use to do my slick bun are this Coco Neve mask. I also have a Garnier mask, which I've literally left on my dressing table right there. I'm gonna go and get it. This is the Garnier mask that I sometimes use. I also have a Coco and Eve mask that I use, but that is in my shower currently, and I'm not gonna go and get it, but it's a Coco and Eve. I think it's like fig mask, and it's so good. I put it in the shower as well. I use that for like 10 minutes in the shower sometimes, which is so good. But this one smells unreal. I know some people think like, you shouldn't use a hair mask to do a slick bun, but quite honestly, I don't care. Um, I like it, it works for me. Again, for the slick bun girls. This slick it back, no, slick and fix styling glue from Lulabelle's. This has seen better days. It's disgusting <laughs> condition of this, but this is so good. It's like literally like a glue on your hair. If you're, when I film like content, putting lots of hoodies over my head or anything, I'll use these two together and my God, my hair doesn't move. It's incredible. Then this hairspray, I've said it once and I will say it again, it's the best hairspray you'll find. It does give kind of a glue effect it's definitely not that much of like a brush out hairspray this one from ghd is definitely more subtle but it still has a really strong hold and if that makes sense like for me this is like if you need your hair to not move an inch not even an inch a millimeter use this if you just want it to like stay in place all day and you kind of want to brush it out a bit easier at night this one's for you so these two i love but this one so strong. Moving on to like makeup-y kind of bits. I'll start with skin prep because I found products that I love and they just give the really nice glowy skin under your makeup. So starting off with this Caudalie toner, it's the purifying toner. Every time I use this, I always have to take a little sniff because it's so nice. It's so spa-like. I say it every time I use it, it's incredible. It kind of feels like it tightens my skin, but my God, is my skin soft after I've used it. If I use it with this, I mean, if I use it with anything after, it's still the same kind of effect, but this, I'm sorry, I've literally been speaking about it for probably about a minute now. It is so good. There's actually two other Caudalie products I would 100% say to add to your wish list. It sounds like it's sponsored from them. I wish. It's <laughs> not sponsored at all. So this is the Vinegetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask, and it's like a clay mask you put on your face. It's pink. I thought it was gonna be blue just because the packaging is not as pink. Um, put it on your face, it dries down, it kind of like sucks the excess oils, I believe, out your face. This, if I do this, then I do this, and then I use the Radiance Complexion Correcting Serum. My skin feels like a baby's bum. It is so soft. It's unreal, I promise you. These three products together, 
so good. Then we have this new addition to my kind of skin products that I love is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream and I'm aware that this is very expensive, it is, and I'm sure there's other things that do basically the exact same thing, but I don't know why I'm smelling this, it doesn't even have a smell, but I love this so much, it's such a thick consistency, but you can kind of see the fact that it kind of just stays where I've put my nail in it to get stuff out, it doesn't melt back in, it's just really thick, really luxurious feeling, it's a bit of a if someone wants to treat you to something nice for Christmas, if you know someone that would want to do that, then this is the kind of thing to get. I couldn't do this and not include bits from Rode. I feel like Rode, Hailey Bieber just screams clean girl. And this is the, I don't actually know what the proper name is, Barrier Restore Cream. I love this so much. It's such a nice moisturising thing, cream. <laughs> I will actually use this as skincare. I will actually use this before I go to bed when I remember but this is one of the things I actually love when I use as skincare it's just as well I know the packaging again like Iola Pax packaging has nothing to do with the product inside but when it just looks really nice and aesthetic it just in my head is better then have two lip peptide treatment things oh it's actually called peptide lip treatment I have watermelon slice and salted caramel I love these for someone who doesn't really wear gloss, this was what got me into wearing gloss. Because when I wore this on top of lipstick or just day to day, if I had just like a bit of skin tint on, which I'm going to get onto in a second. But I put this on and I just thought, oh, that looks really nice. And it's really nice and moisturising. They taste incredible. I know I shouldn't be eating them. But when they're on your lips, I kind of go, you know when you used to have those Coca-Cola like flavoured lip balms and you used to kind of like lick your lips because it tasted nice? That's what these kind of give. I love them. Last but not least for skin prep, I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturiser. I love this. This is the travel size version. It's just in my makeup bag, so I thought it was easier to grab, but this is so good. It gives the wet look under your makeup. It shines through your makeup. We know I love this. And then this one as the last step of your skin prep routine. I love it. Literally makes my face wet because I put a lot of it on, but it's just for me the perfect base for your makeup. Talking of makeup, I'm moving on to my must-haves for your wish list. I've whittled this down so much because if you know, you know, I'd be here for about half an hour talking through my favourite, pretty much talking through my makeup routine because everything that I have in my makeup routine for me works literally perfectly and exactly how I want it to. But I would say things to add to your wish list for Christmas are Obviously, the Wet n Wild foundation. There will not be a day where I don't rave about this. It's the best. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I wear shade Golden Beige. It's the best. I'm sorry. If you watch my videos, you will know. It's incredible. Then we have the Be Perfect Cronzer. It's such a good cream bronzer, cream contour. It's really affordable. Like It's kind of like a stocking filler, I feel like or just like a little bit to get someone buying it for you. I just love it. It works wonders. It also lasts so long. I've had this for a year now and I use it every time I do my makeup and there's literally like loads still left in it. So really good. Another kind of stocking filler little makeup bit is this GGB Brow Fix Gel. I love it. I used to use my Benefit brow gel and then I got this and it's my favourite thing ever. It's so easy to use. It doesn't leave any white marks. Your hairs still feel like hairs but they're stuck in place. Love it so much. Also the packaging. Can we just take a minute? It's just so aesthetically pleasing. Love. For setting powder, I do think it's one of those things to invest in. Personally, I think drugstore makeup is really good but when it comes to setting powder I just think that like the higher end kind of things do it best and my two favourites I actually couldn't tell you which I prefer with these two they're basically the exact same in my opinion this one I just have in lighter shades so if I want a brighter under eye, I'll use this one because of the shades that I have but this is the Huda Beauty Cupcake Loose Baking and Setting Powder Cupcakes the shade name and then this is the Fenty Beauty, yeah, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Again, yeah, both incredible. Love both. So these are the last two makeup products. First, we have the Laura Mercier Blush. This is shade Bellini. I 
I'm very stuck in my ways with my makeup routine. If I have a product that I like, it's not leaving my makeup routine until something is way better than. And I'm very set on that. I don't want to just keep chopping and changing between my makeup products. If I've got something that I like, like why fix what's not broken? And I had my old blush in my makeup bag for a year. Didn't even, nothing like came close to it. I loved this powder blush. And then I got this the other week. And when I tell you, I took that blush straight out of my makeup bag and put this on back in. The other one I still love, but this is just incredible. The pigment, the color, everything i'm obsessed so i mean obviously this won't be everybody's color but the formula everything i think it's so good again it's like a really nice like laura mercier it's like a nice brand i feel like if someone was to buy you a gift i always think people like to buy you nice gifts i don't know that's just my opinion but this is definitely like a nice little gift and then last but not least for the makeup is this Too Faced highlighter. Again, we know how much I used to love my old Too Faced highlighter and I actually stopped using it. I used that for about five years. Yes, I know it's probably expired. No, I don't care. But this one replaced it. It's so good. You can see how nice and glowy my cheeks are. Just obsessed. I almost forgot about this, but for no makeup days, like no makeup makeup, that kind of thing. This Barley Body Tinted Super Serum is incredible. I love it so much. I had it on earlier today when I didn't have my makeup on and it's just such a nice like tint. It gives your skin such a nice glow. Like I can't tell you how nice your skin looks with this. It's just incredible. It also means that your face is nice and tanned. If you're like me and you don't really fake tan your face as much as your body, like, I mean, face tan always comes off quicker, in my opinion. This is just a really nice kind of top up. If you don't want to wear makeup, but you want your face to match your neck, this is a lifesaver. But yeah, love the way this looks on your face. Again, this is just such a nice, aesthetically pleasing bottle, everything. I feel like the branding of Barley Body just screams clean girl. Oh my God, I've just seen this sat in front of me. How could I forget? This is a must a must and obviously it's a more expensive setting spray which means it's perfect for a christmas gift someone if they want to spend 30 pounds 35 pounds this one is the massive one just so you can see the difference this is five pounds more expensive than this one i mean it's a no-brainer in my opinion this is 200 mils this is 100 and it's five pounds more expensive i'm sorry this i think is such a perfect thing to ask for it's incredible i will never stop raving about how good this charlotte tilbury setting spray is I love it. Now for perfumes, these two are my absolute favourites at the minute. They are Ebony Wood and Fashionably London from Zara. Well, you can see yourself in the Fashionably London one. They are so nice. For one, the packaging is just beautiful. I love it. It looks so expensive. They're the Zara collab with Jo Malone. And when I tell you the perfumes last hours i would say this one is more of an expensive smell for reference these are 25 pounds this one is definitely more of an expensive smell it smells just luxurious it smells incredible this one is definitely more fresh it still smells incredible i've got this one on today actually they both are just so good so good also if you follow me on instagram you'd have seen that when i was away i went into a shop and saw this new perfume that i really want it's like 160 pounds for a bottle which is absolutely ludicrous this is something that i want to add to my christmas list um but like i don't expect anyone to buy me a 160 pound perfume because that is quite ridiculous but space and k sent me the <laughs> fragrance advent calendar and i did take a little peek at what was inside and there was this mini version of the perfume, like the exact scent that I want. And it was like incredible. Look at how cute this little bottle is. Oh my God, it is so cute. But this perfume is unreal. They do two different perfumes that I love. One is called Gypsy Water. I put that on my TikTok and someone was like, girl, what? What is that name? I was like, I didn't name it. Like. <laughs> What are you asking me for? It's a weird name, but like, I'm not gonna say I don't like the perfume because it's got a weird name. This one, I don't actually know how to pronounce. I'm not even gonna try and butcher that, but it's called this one. And it is so nice. I'm gonna have a little sniff. Oh, it's so fresh. It's just, it smells clean and just 
like you've just stepped out of a shower, like a half an hour everything shower where you've lathered yourself in soap. That's what it smells like, but better. Next we have shoes and this is where my kind of what I want comes into it because for makeup, for perfume, I think I'm very set on what I've got. I don't really want anything that badly at the minute because of how, actually take it back, I really want some more road bits. But apart from that, I don't really want anything else or like need it. So I wouldn't add it to my wish list. But shoe wise, I have a few. But these shoes, I used to hate these. Like I used to be on the Panda hate train because I just thought they looked weird. Ever since I've got them, I love them like absolutely love them and they're so cute they go with everything just yeah love i kind of feel embarrassed showing you how dirty these are so i'm gonna put them on the screen for like five seconds then just put a picture of them but these are my adidas astere trainers and again they're really cheap trainers i think they've been like reduced i don't know why because i love them i think sam absolutely hates them um but there's a nice white shoe they're like the kind of dad trainer look really 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 comfy i would say if you're not going to try them on before you ask for them size up because i'm normally a size three and a half to four that kind of range and i wear a uk5 in those trainers because the four was just tiny um so yeah in terms of what i want to add to my wish list the adidas campus trainers i'm going to put like a little collage of which ones i want i saw shannon mooney um on her Instagram story, she posted that she got these new ones. They're like beige with like red strips. And I don't know whether I'm on the red hype yet. I love it on other people, but I've never worn red in my life. I think I've never lit literally put on something red in my life, but I love them at the minute. Then the green Adidas canvas, the gray ones, the black ones, pretty much all the Adidas campus trainers. I love i'm also really loving uggs at the minute obviously i think the mini ones or the tasman ones um the chocolate brown color again i will keep putting up things of the bits that i don't have to show you um the chocolate tasmans are unreal i think they're so cute um as well as like the mustard seed ones i think again they are beautiful uggs yeah definitely love for clothing and bits and bobs like this, I think we all know what's coming, but I've picked out three hoodies, um, which I think are must haves on your Christmas wish list. Starting off with this one, this is actually new. I bought this the other day. It's the series hoodie in balm from Sisters and Seekers. These other hoodies are all from Sisters and Seekers. We know by now that my favorite place to get a hoodie from, you can just see the hoodies hoodie. And I said that in my other video, I actually don't like that phrase. But I think I'm starting to love it. Um, the hoodie's hoodie and that's all I can say about it. So the first one we have is this new addition to my wardrobe, which is the, actually same as this, but in the opposite, like in the black colour. And it just says Seekers jeans on it. I love it. I think this is the series hoodie in road. I believe this is actually still in stock. So I would run and get it right now. Code Daisy 10. Daisy 10 will save you some money um, on everything on Sisters and Seekers. But this, incredible. Then we have this oldie but a goodie. It is incredible. It's the yoga hoodie. The quality of all of these is so good. And obviously they're a more expensive hoodie. They're all $59.99. So I feel like to add as a Christmas present for someone who might buy you something a bit nicer, just is the perfect Christmas present. And people love to buy you something that they're gonna see you in. I always think that like, if I'm gonna ask for something, that like if I bought someone something and then I saw them, they had it on, I'd think, oh, I did such a good job there, even if they told me what to get, you know? So if we're like a hoodie or something, it's the perfect thing to add to a Christmas list or like a birthday list or anything. But this yoga hoodie is so cute. I actually believe this is in stock at the minute as well, which don't quote me on that, but run. And then last but not least, we have the Staten logo hoodie. I know for a fact that this isn't in stock. Um, it might be restocking soon before Christmas, I don't know. But if it's not, you can get a gift card, like a Sisters and Seekers gift card um, for like 60 pounds to then get this hoodie when it comes in stock. That kind of thing I think is such a good idea. If something isn't in stock and they do a gift card, that still to me counts as the same thing because that person's like bought you that hoodie. So this one has like bits on the back. It's so cute. 
just everything about it. So I actually have a few bits that I want to get from Sisters and Seekers that I might add to my wish list, which again, I'll add here. One of them is this hoodie and matching joggers in dough. It's like a light gray color. It is so cute. I'm also obsessed with the hoodie that I have in navy, the one that says Seekers jeans on it, but it's like embossed. They do that in a light gray. It is so nice. And that is what I want. Those two hoodies are gonna go on my wish list. For your basics, base layers, that kind of vibe. Another version are one of my favorite places to get them from. This is one of my new sets from them. It's in charcoal and it's just such a cute color. A matching set just screams clean girl. I just love it and they're so nice. The quality is unreal, like just so nice. This is another one from another version, which I love. I feel like every skin color would look so nice with this. I feel like it's such a universal color to wear this is shade mink shade color mink for reference i wear extra small and small so extra small for the tops and small for the leggings at another version oh actually i forgot i have a discount code for them as well daisy 10 will save you money on another version but just love this so much the neckline is perfect the fit just everything the quality aren't real i couldn't talk about base layer kind of things without including this skims bodysuit again extortionate for a bodysuit but I feel like it's a Christmas kind of thing like someone to buy it for you if someone's gonna get you like a luxury gift that kind of vibe this is so good I wear this all the time it's so comfy so cute I'm extra extra small in a skims bodysuit um for reference and yeah this is the it fits everybody fits everyone bodysuit. I also don't know where they are but tops from Adenola, the long sleeve tops, I have them in grey, I have them in black and I've got a different one in brown. The Adenola tops so good, again it's a bit more of a higher end, they're about £35 for a top which is a very good quality top so I would 100% recommend it. Then for like a tote bag, I have this one from another version, I've also got my eye on two others. I'm apparently obsessed with tote bags at the minute but this one is so good it fits so much in it I can, you can kind of see the size of it it's huge um I took this to the hospital the other day I don't know if you guys knew Sam was having surgery on his knee because he tore no snapped basically is a better word his ACL in his knee um so he had surgery on it last Monday yeah so I took this to the hospital when I went down with him with all bits and bobs for him and me because I stayed there for like eight hours waiting for him um but very practical fits a hell of a lot in it so cute it's this kind of actually this is a um sample of it so that's why it's got like this watermark yours won't have this watermark on it but this is it's just like a quilted bag I love I also have my eye on one from Adenola which just says like Adenola on it they have like loads but the Adenola one in cream and black I'll put a picture of it here I am obsessed with and then also Seekers, Seekers? Sisters and Seekers have come out with one which is sold out um but it says Seeker Jean Seekers like SKR S jeans on it and again it's cream and black the Adenola one and that one are very very similar um I love them both pretty much equally but love both of those too. Okay, really quickly before I go, my jewellery I am obsessed with. These earrings that I have in currently are from Zafino, the like Zafino X Emma Mac edit collection. I love them so much. I think they're such a cute earring, the nice chunky kind of hoop vibe I love. I also have the Bottega dupes from Amazon. Again, I didn't say in the beginning, I will link absolutely everything in the description in case you want to pick anything up or add it to your wish list, that kind of vibe. Then for rings, we have this one here, which is from Amazon. It's called like Love Ring Dupe or something like that. I'll try and find the link. This one is from PD Piola. Um, I love it so much. It's so cute. I think it looks really nice. And then I have these two both again from PD Piola and one is silver, one is gold and I just stack them. They are separate rings by stack them I love like gold and silver together I think it looks really cute I also have this necklace which has an s on it I get quite a lot of questions saying why have you got a necklace with an s on it um it's for Sam like Sam's initial the s and this is from Etsy um the seller I think is called B fancy as in like a bumblebee like b-e-e -E fancy and it's just like an initial necklace it's about 15 pounds I think it's so cute even if you wouldn't get 
somebody else's initial like if you had your own I think it's so cute it's such a dainty necklace I've had this for literally years now I love it it's really good quality it's not broken obviously it's really cute so yes, that is everything that I would say to add to your Christmas wish list or like birthday wish list for that clean girl aesthetic kind of bits. I love all these bits so much. Obviously, that's why I put them in this video. I did pick out my absolute favourites um, because I don't want you to be adding random things to your wish list. I only want you to have the best of the best. But if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Love you.